Okay, now here is yet another fantastic hidden feature on your Galaxy phone, which is gonna make you go crazy. You see this icon here? This gives us an access to the hidden labs on the phone application on your device. I'm sure you are aware of labs option on the settings menu. We've got hidden labs option on gallery, which can be enabled. Likewise, we've got labs option for the phone application, which is hidden by Samsung. Now, first I'm gonna show you what this labs offer and then I will let you know how you can enable this incredible feature. This video is going to be very interesting, so keep watching. Let's open Labs by tapping on this icon. As you can see, we have got about six options here, out of which two are very useful and interesting as well. We have got fake call settings, disable proximity sensor, call accept reject button action, disable the end call screen, contact photo call background, and we have delete call recordings automatically. Now out of these six features, the fake call settings and contact photo call background are going to be very useful. Now let's dive in and take a look at these two features. First one is fake call settings. Let me tap on this. As you can see, we have got an option to set the phone number and we have got an option to set caller display name. Basically, this enables us to fake a call on the phone. Let's see how to do that. First, I'll tap on phone number. Here, you can select any phone number you want to get a fake call or to make a fake call. You can type your own number or you can select the contacts from this icon here. Once you're done with that, tap on OK. Now, let's tap on caller display name. Whatever name you want to appear when you get the call or when you dial the number, just type it and tap on OK. Now here we have two options. One is to place a call and add a new incoming call. The moment I place a call, you will see the dialing screen on the phone, but you're actually not dialing any number. It is just a fake screen that you're gonna see on the phone. When you tap on add new incoming call, again, you will see a fake call coming onto your phone screen. When it's an incoming call, we can also receive the call, but there won't be any ongoing call there. Let me tap on place call. As you can see, the calling screen is on. You can also see on the top, it shows recording and it also shows the call duration. Anybody looking at this will think that you are actually on a call. Likewise, when I tap on add new incoming call, you see I'm getting a call from the number that I've just selected. I can answer this call. As you can see, it looks as if you have really got a call. If you turn on the loudspeaker, you cannot hear anything. Actually, there is no call at all. Basically, it is just a fake call. Now, let me tell you something more interesting. We have got input delay time here. I'll tap on this. It says, please input a value between zero and 60 seconds. A new call will be added after the time, which means I can select anywhere between zero to 60 seconds and tap on OK. After setting this time, when you tap on place call or add new incoming call, you will see the notification after the set time. Now this feature can be really useful sometimes when you want to get out of a meeting or whenever you want to cut a prolonged discussion with somebody, you can just initiate this delayed fake call, let the person know that you are getting a call and just get out of there. I'm sure this is an insane feature a lot of you guys are gonna use. Let me know what do you think about it in the comment section below. This is the fake call feature for you guys which is hidden in the lab section on your phone application. Now the second feature I wanted to discuss is contact photo call background. This displays a contact photo as a call background. Let me just show you how exactly this works. First, let me just open call settings on the phone application and show you what is this call background all about. As you can see, we have got call background settings here. As you can see, I have set an image here. As in when I get a call, this is the background I'm gonna see on the screen. Now the background remains the same for any calls that you're gonna get with this feature. Now what if you want to set different backgrounds for different contacts? That is when the settings on the labs will come in handy. We can just enable contact photo call background. Now what happens is, whatever display photo you have set for the contact will appear in the background whenever you get a call. Let me show you that. As you can see for this contact, I have set this as the display picture. When I get a call from this contact, the same photo will be the call background as well. Now this will be very useful. Let me tell you how. Let's say if you have kept your phone far away from you and when you get a call notification, you will be able to make out who is calling you without even having a closer look at your phone. Because the contacts display photo will be blown on the entire screen and you will be able to figure out who is calling without taking your phone into your hands. That is a fantastic feature again on labs. Then we have got a couple of other features like disable proximity sensor, Call accept reject button you can customize here. As you can see, we have got default single tap, double tap, long press. We have disable end call screen 
and then we have delete call recordings automatically. This will delete the call recordings older than one month on the first day of each month. I think we should enable this feature to save some space on the phone because the call recordings takes a lot of space on the Galaxy phones. Of course, if you have call recording feature on your phone and if you have enabled it. I want this feature to be enabled on my phone so I will turn this on. That's the last feature we have on labs on the phone. Now before we go ahead and see how to enable this labs from your phone application, a sub and a like would be much appreciated. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel to watch some useful contents like this. And if you find this video useful, be sure to smash that like button as well. Now this labs option can be enabled through a third party application called Shortcut Maker. I did make a video on this particular application a couple of days ago showing you guys how we can create the app pair on the home screen. If you missed that video, you can go ahead and watch that. I will leave a link for that in the description. Now let's go ahead and tap on the home screen. I will tap on widgets. Let's scroll down and search for Shortcut Maker widget. I'll tap on this. I will add this widget on the home screen. The moment you add it, it opens up the application itself. Now here, you need to tap on activities. Tap on search. Here you can search for labs. Under call, we have labs option. Just tap on this. Now you'll be able to create a shortcut for labs. If you want to customize the label and icon, you can do it here. Then tap on create shortcut. That's it, as simple as that. Now we have got labs option right here on the home screen. And this labs icon is directly linked to your phone application. All you need to do is tap on labs icon to access all these features here. Brilliant, isn't it? Fake call setting is something which I really liked and the other features are also quite useful. Let me know what do you think about it in the comment section below. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. There are many such tips and tricks videos on the channel. Go ahead and check them out. I have left a few links in the description. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.